She gets close and personal, but she is an absolute terror to anyone that is using heavy parts, two or more. It is FEI-01 Flapper Kung Fu, with a kit of guard boost, double break hammer, biped legs, and the leg ability of rumbling, which grants the fight boost effect to self, which is about 20% to melee based damage uh, when, up ch when charging Metaforce. Now, honestly, we have not seen Flapper Kung Fu for a fair bit of time at time of recording, but all the same, she is still very conventional and very well-rounded to use for mono female teams or anyone that is in need of the, of the skills that she offers. Guard Boost is a support-based skill which will grant a 20% buff essentially to shoot resist and melee resist, meaning that any incoming attacks will be dealing significantly less damage right at front, especially if, the, especially if you have a chance to guard the incoming attack to reduce damage more so. Break Hammer we've seen numerous times up to date and it's, it's well-balanced and conventional uh, skill and usefulness honestly knows no bounds. But simply put, any foes that are using two or more heavy parts will be eating additional punish damage um, relative to the number of parts that, they are, that, are, that are equipped. And this also stays as a, as a Metaforce Reliance skill as well, meaning that the higher the Metaforce charge is, the, the higher likelihood of you are landing the hit as well as you are landing the critical hit. Unfortunately, one of the big weaknesses to Break Hammer, just for sake of mentioning it, however, is it does also leave you unable to dodge or defend while you are in your cooldown phase, so as something just to pay attention to. But all the same, Flapper Kung Fu really does know how to use her kit very well, especially if she is coming across someone such as, say, God Emperor or Death Providence or Metal Eater or anyone that is triple heavy. They will see her and know her tr and know true fear. As once she does get up to the line, if they do, if they fail to break her in time, they will be suffering for it. And in addition, the rumbling ability does honestly tie in very nicely as a way to boost her extra damage even more so if she cannot use Break Hammer right away or safely. And what's nice further is that Fight, fight Boost and Guard Boost are two completely separate buffs, meaning that by herself, Flapper Kung Fu can essentially apply two buffs to self both of which are very beneficial before she actually has a chance to go in and, act, and actually attack the foe. That being said, as a pure set score, I honestly have to rate her pretty flat 6 out of 10. She is moderately well balanced in what she offers, but a number of weaknesses are also abound. One of which is her legs are essentially at the, at the lower end uh, cutoff of where you'd want to be with your mobility, for instance. Meaning she definitely is not going to be the fastest on the field right at start. In addition, both of her arms are also heavy parts, meaning you have to be able to factor using them if you want to consider using her break hammer or using her parts anywhere, um, whether you use it as a pure set or as mixed parts. That being said, however, as mixed parts, I do have to rate her higher at a 7 out of 10, given that even though her legs, I'd say, are definitely sub-tier, lower tier of what you'd want to expect, Guard Boost basically speaks for itself as a very solid buff you could use pretty much anywhere to keep your damage low, and Break Hammer again speaks for itself for how well balanced and how versatile it is, especially when it comes to punishing people that use two or more heavy parts. Again, this includes God Emperor, more or less any of the weapon types, boss types, or pretty much anyone in general that uses two or more. They would definitely have to pay very close attention to anyone using her parts if they want to keep themselves from getting punished too heavily or broken too quickly.